all right guys welcome back to a brand new video so this is gonna be the start to like a kind of like a little mini series I'll probably try and have it be like kind of reoccurring I guess we'll do like multiple times so basically the whole premise of this and I know it's kind of been done before but I thought it'd be kind of fun to try it out uh, basically carrying just a, a bad knife only for you know like a specified amount of time like a bad or a cheap knife or whatever um, for me, uh, I, I don't, don't really know exactly why I decided to try it, but um, going through some of the old stuff and I found this Ozark, uh, Ozark Trail, I think it is, tan flipper, just super cheap like Walmart knife. Uh, I believe these go for about just under four bucks, which is actually insane. So today's going to kind of be like my day one update. Um, today's the first day I carried it all day it was the only knife that I've had I'm not gonna expose myself to any other knives so this will be like the only one that I carry um, even when I come home from work or whatever I mean, I'm just chilling it at the house I'm just gonna experience this I'm not gonna like pick up another knife and like play around with it or whatever or use it around the house this is gonna be the only one so uh, as far as it went today um, it's uh, definitely a little bit of a departure than what I'm used to. I'll, I'm not going to lie, though. It's not totally bad. It's not like if, if you think about like what a three or four dollar knife would be, it's definitely a lot better than than what you would think. Um, there's a lot of people that would even go so far as to say it's actually a pretty decent knife. And to that, I wouldn't even knock them for saying that. Um, biggest changes for me personally, um, for sure right off the bat, the pocket clip is tipped down, which is something that I haven't done in a really long time. I can't even remember the last time I actually did carry a knife tipped down. So that was different. It's also uh, leaves a lot exposed there too. Um, more than most of the stuff that I carry, even if I did have a knife that exposed a little bit more like that, it's still just in its design, coloration, all that stuff, just a little bit less conspicuous. Um, this is pretty loud, both coming from the polished pocket clip, the light colors. So when it's in your pocket and you don't have anything, you know, like draping over it, it can be noticeable, um, especially like to another like knife person or somebody who's familiar with um, EDC or whatever. Uh, they'll they'll spot this thing right away so that's kind of that was one of the first things that I knew would kind of be strange to me right off the bat um, speaking to just you know messing with the thing all day just I mean not really breaking it in but kind of I guess because when I got this I'm, I haven't never even carried this a day in my life um, so just messing around with it I honestly was kind of surprised at how um, don't even know if I want to say smooth but it for three to four dollars again <clears throat> it's it's really not bad it's on like these like the Teflon I don't even know if they're Teflon they might just be like some kind of plastic washers but uh, it gives it the illusion and feel that it's uh, uh, worth a little bit more than it is um, the centering is not awful either um, I will say that it's a little bit closer to center, but uh, there's obviously no Loctite on here. So when I um, when I tightened it up, when it started to get a little loose, it was a little bit closer. But it's been loosening it up uh, throughout the day, all day. So there's that. It's got G10 handles. It's kind of got the little sculpty pattern on there. Um, and then the... The blade finish is super, super cheap looking. I mean, I could literally throw this blade in a jar of rocks, shake it up for about a half hour and come out with a better stone wash finish than that. But uh, that's probably my biggest worry after day one is the quality of the blade steel. And obviously in any knife, um, the blade steel is going to be like the number one determining factor for cost. You know, the not just the grade of the steel, but um, also the quality in which it's heat treated and tempered. Um, the 
the blade edge was pretty beat to hell so i touched it up just on um this little tiny little work sharp like pocket sharpener thing that i have i'll probably put a picture somewhere up here showing what it looks like um <clears throat> the i can't imagine it's very very good quality um but it's got just like one like coarser end and one like finer like almost porcelainy looking side um but it it sharpened up the edge pretty well so i don't know if it was diamond i can look into that um <clears throat> very little effort though so that makes me think that maybe the blade is on the really soft side so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out if there's a day that it gets a bit more use so uh yeah that's day one obviously uh in the following days i'll do a couple more updates just on the the care and maintenance of it and how i feel like the blade steel is shaping up or um obviously to lock tight the pivot i'm gonna have to take it apart so those will all be in you know different subsequent update videos so uh thanks for hanging out with me on the day one update um subscribe to keep up to date on you know future videos i'm gonna try to do a daily update each day and carry this for a full week and see how it goes so we'll see you guys again tomorrow thank you so much